and it's time for another Jenny Likes Children's Books episode. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about a very unusual book uh, because I don't know what I'm actually going to do with this book. This book is 101 Easy Peasy Things to Do with Your Computer. Uh, it is a children's book teaching children how to use their computer but there's a lot of really useful things it teaches you. It teaches you how to save, it teaches you basic internet uses, um, basic computer games, uh, things like it's got a kind of rip-off version of um, a you know live-in pet sim type thing. Um, lots of creative things, it teaches you as I said how to print, how to copy, how to paste, how to um, very simply understand upload and download systems. Um, but the trouble with this is I had it when I was a child, which means that it was published in 1998. Uh, and it is so alarmingly dated that it is not useful for any person of the next generation. Uh, I do have nostalgia attached to this, but not enough to justify keeping it. And for another thing, as you can probably tell by this wonderful gap, the CD that came with it is missing. Uh, but for the sake of argument, I really do want to showcase this book for you because uh, it's not old enough to go to a museum. It's only 17 years old. <laughs> But it feels like it should be because it has things like getting started. You need to have at least a Windows 95 or a Windows 3.1 or a Macintosh. That is right. We have the old Windows logo and the old Apple logo. When it wasn't called a Mac, it was called a Macintosh. Uh, followed by some of the most delightfully uh, skewed statistics like Windows 3.1 or better it needs at least a 340 by 480 monitor with 256 color SVGA. Um, it's, it's just beautiful this, this book it's full of the weirdest nostalgia including if I can find it um, The save icon is a floppy disk. That's right, it's a floppy disk. Children who don't know what a floppy disk is, I am both happy and sad for you. Um, it, it, it's a very interesting book. There's lots of pressing things and clicking things and making things and printing and crafting and a little bit of gameplay, a little bit of create your own games. It's all very, very simple. It's aimed at young people. It has a cyber pet, which is kind of like a neopet or any other sort of Tamagotchi type thing. Um, there's little puzzles, there's all sorts, there's make your own music. Uh, but to conclude, I don't know what to do with this book because as I said, it's not old enough to really go in the bin, but it has no purpose at all now. Um, and yeah. 101 easy piece of things to do with your computer, a great children's book that I enjoyed when I was seven, um, there's some good internet advice that I wish some parents would follow nowadays, but that's pretty much it. Um, but I wanted to show you guys this book before I decide what I'm going to do with it. If you have a suggestion, if anyone has any thoughts about what I actually should end up doing with this book, please suggest it down below. I am not a book burner, um, but I feel like this book serves absolutely zero purpose and I don't have enough nostalgia attached to it to keep it. So anyone, if you have any advice, any thoughts, did you have any sort of how to train your how to train yourself how to use computers when you're a child, anything like that, feel free to comment it down below. Uh, leave a like if you wish while you're down there and uh, yeah, I'll see you all very soon for another Jenny Likes Children's Books. Bye guys.